Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, looking for his mercy. The mercy of God is what we celebrate each day that we wake up. Each morning when we wake up, we encounter and experience this mercy of God. And so I want to say that the steadfast love of God never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is the faithfulness of God. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. It is this faithfulness of God that has brought us together in this church this morning to celebrate the Mass of the 14th Sunday in ordinary time of the year. And in today's celebration, the liturgy, the readings, draw our attention to what happened to messengers and the message they carry. Messengers and the message they carry. Beginning with the gospel of today, Jesus was a messenger of God's love to his hometown, to his own people. What happened? The people rejected him and eventually rejected his message. And he was surprised at the lack of faith. And because of that, he could not perform miracles in his hometown. Jesus was rejected. The experience of a messenger of God. And in the first reading of today, the prophet Ezekiel was being encouraged by God to go to a rebellious people to speak in his name, in nominate day. Whether they accept the message or not, he has the obligation to preach, to deliver that message. And in the second reading of today, St. Paul recounts his experience in carrying on the message of Christ, in delivering the message as a messenger of God. The hardships, the rejection, the persecution that come with it. And so, in answering or responding to God's call as messengers, there are so many consequences. There are so many things that could happen to a messenger, and a messenger will be tempted to quit and go back either into his shell or into her shell. 
And I want to say here right away, of course you know, quitters don't win and winners don't quit. Every messenger of God has the obligation to deliver the message welcome or unwelcome. And today, you and I are the modern day messengers of God. Then, in the Bible, they were the prophets, the apostles, the disciples, our Lord Jesus Christ, and all through the history of Christianity down to this age, there have been people who have worked or served as messengers of God. In 2024, this day, you and I are the messengers of God the modern-day messengers of God. What is God calling you to as a messenger? What is God asking you to do as a messenger? What is it that God has put into you to bring out to this community here in Stillwater and in Penn County at large? What is it that you carry? As you take on this message of Christ or this message from God, there will be moments or seasons of rejection like they rejected Jesus. There will be moments or seasons of persecution. There will be moments or seasons that people are not comfortable around you, that people don't even appreciate what you do. Those moments or seasons will come. And when they come, what do you do? You quit. You go back into your shell. Or you run away. Or you abandon the assignment given to you by God. You are not going to quit. You are not going to abandon what God has given you to do. Definitely moments of difficulties will come. But St. Paul gives us an assurance in today's second reading when he said, my grace is enough for you. I don't know where each one of us is at at this moment. Have you experienced rejection? Have you experienced abandonment? Have you experienced situations where people don't appreciate what you do and the services you render to even family? even in your immediate community, or even in the church. Have you experienced any of this? I tell you today, God is inviting you to offer it up to God in service to Christ. St. Paul says, I bear all things for the sake of Christ. As modern-day messengers, I invite all of us to bear all things for the sake of Christ. I see a lot of potentials in this community. I see many gifted men and women in this community. I see a lot of resources in this community. I see many men and women God is inviting and calling to build up a family of God's children here. And many people have been doing that year in, year out. I want to say thank you to them. I want to encourage them. I want to ask them to continue to carry on this message that God has entrusted to them. Let nobody scare you. Let nobody intimidate you. Let nobody push you away. This is your family. This is your house. This is the house of God where everybody is welcome. Where we are all citizens, firstborn citizens of heaven. The house of God. The house of God's children. And like St. Paul would say, the grace of God is enough for us. And we pray as a family that the graces of God will be enough for us as we continue to do the work of messengers of God, carrying on the message that God has entrusted to us. That's my prayer for this community. That's my vision for this community, that the grace of God will be abundant for each one of us 
especially at the various assignments that God has given us to do in his name for his own glory and for our own happiness and salvation. Give us grace to follow, abundant grace to follow. Give us grace to follow, your grace is enough for us. Give us grace to follow, abundant grace to follow. Give us grace to follow. Your grace is enough for us. God bless you.